everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from... I'm, I'm kind of out of the frame. I'm going to just take a nap on your shoulder, James. <laughs> it's okay. All right, round three of the uh, World Championships of X-Wing. Shout out to AMG and Adepticon for bringing you Gold Squadron Live, the official coverage of the World Championships of X-Wing. Today, I'm joined by my good friend... James Ritter here, excited for this. Round three had some good, yummy lunch. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> uh, I am full. Now I need a nap. No, uh, no naps. <laughs> no naps. It's excitement Coffee. Here. <laughs> coffee. <laughs> uh, I need a coffee run now. Uh, but I don't know. This game may keep me awake. We have some uh, exciting lists for you today. All right, now we're going to go ahead and break those down. Before we do that, we also want to shout out our sponsors for the stream, Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon, sorry, no coupon code. Uh, just go to their website. There's 15% off. Get your acrylic upgrades for your favorite AMG games now. Um, and, of course, shout out to our patrons, the ones that make it happen. Oh. All right, we're going to go ahead and pay out those bets from last round. And we are going to have everybody at home do the one, the only, the most important thing in the world. And that is to choose your champion. Let's go ahead and start breaking down these lists, James. All right, I'll take a Jean-Francois Goudreau. Uh, and he has a first order list for us today. Has... Uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of meta, a little bit of off meta here. Has yep. recoil, uh, one of the tie silencers that we don't actually see too quite often. Uh, has predator uh, able to use that uh, predator uh, in the full arc, not just bullseye uh, at range one when recoil is stressed. It's not an ability we see too often, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, predator is pretty great ability if you're able to get, um, get inside that range one while you're stressed. Uh, and guarantee a reroll for yourself. Also has the Sensor Scramblers upgrade, uh, that nice tech for silencers or whispers, uh, able to take a cloak token at the uh, setup step and uh, will only have to decloak if at the end phase he is at uh, range three of an enemy ship. But while he's cloaked, no one can lock him. So a uh, pretty cool ability to make sure that you're not getting locked and torpedoed uh, <laughs> uh, very early in the game without you expecting it. We also have uh, five Thai FO fighters here. We have Commander Mallers, mm -hmm. uh, a, I mean, if you're not running Mallers in your list uh, and you're playing FO, uh, you better have a darn good reason not to. <laughs> <laughs> Mallers has a great ability uh, to uh, have a you know 1.0 what we call glitter stem yep. effect where she can uh, convert all focus results to evades or hits uh, for the entire round. Entire yes, the entire round. round. <laughs> uh, she could do the that whole twice. combat. The whole combat. She can do that twice for every uh, uh, for the game by just taking a stress. So pretty cool ability. Uh, has that cluster missile upgrade to take two attacks possibly. Uh, so keep an eye out on that. I don't know if we'll get any cluster missiles this game um, because we only have four ships on the opponent's side, but we may. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, we have Gaelic in the TIFO fighter as well. It has elusive biohexacrypt codes, tractor beam. Uh, Gaelic is able to give out a coordinate action when one of uh, their friendlies die. Uh, Scorch and DT798, both of these have a take a red token for extra die, uh, attack die. Um, Scorch takes a stress uh, and uh, DT798 or Jace Rucklin takes a strain. Uh, both of them have a shield upgrade to get them to that five health. Uh, very uh, important to keep them alive to do those uh, extra damages. And to round out this list, we have Static with elusive and ion cannon a huge loadout for such a little ship um but uh, static can on a primary attack spend a lock on the target and a focus and convert all hit results to crits uh, so even if you roll like three blanks at range one and you can just spend your lock and focus and roll uh, three crits. <laughs> so. looks, looks like we're getting started here with Static actually getting a shot here before we break down 
the Separatist Alliance list. Checking to see if we have ARC. Yeah, so if you notice, uh, uh, J JF has set up all of his uh, FO ships at a little bit of an angle, not at 99 degrees, uh, not at 45 degrees, a offset uh, angle, um, which lets him get some of these sneaky shots here, uh, could get an extra attack here from Static. I think they called the judge for arc check. Uh, yeah. Because, like I was saying, because of these weird angles, um, Static could have a shot on Grievous when Grievous doesn't have a shot on them. Uh, yep. So sometimes it works on their favor to get shots like this, but mm -hmm. sometimes it does not. And they're going to have to be careful with those, especially with Grievous running outmaneuver. So let's see what the determination was. There's going to be a no. So it uh, looks like it'll be... Uh, DT798, do you take a strain? I don't think so. I think you just roll the two. All right, here we go. One hit, one focus, and going to be fine. Grievous shrugs off that shot, getting ready to pump out some uh, some damage into these Thai FOs. This is round one? This is round turn one. This is turn one. <laughs> they, they went all out in three hits from General Grievous from downtown and plenty of evades to cover it. So I slap you, you slap me? That, that's pretty no, much. No, no and damage. then we both miss, actually. Yeah. <laughs> just, a, uh, just a little tiny engagement, no damage, and we're going into round uh, turn two here, which will be able to start getting those objectives. Uh, but before we start breaking down this scenario, let's finish out rounding out these lists, Dion. That's right. So on the left side, your pet one all champion. That's right. Pierre Bouffier, by the way, you have three minutes left to get your bets in. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with really the main piece of the show here. That is Django Fett. He's a simple man. Making his way through this galaxy. That's right. <laughs> Initiative six and has just a plethora of upgrades that we'll go through here quickly. Uh, jamming beam, low cost upgrade. Why not bring it? You could need it, especially against things that reinforce. Uh, doesn't apply for this uh, for this matchup, but it could. You got notorious in order to make it make it a hard decision to shoot. Right, it's dishing out strain and then also getting a benefit when that happens. Uh, Savage press for really the force point. There's really no other reason. Most people. People don't use the ability. Uh, if it comes up, we'll talk about it as we get there. Uh, proton bomb, false transponders to be able to target lock and get rid of a token. Do some jamming. Dead man switch for when Bob, when Django Fett goes boom. So do you. At least one extra damage there. We round out the pilot here with the slave one title while you perform a front arc attack if you are in the defender's back full arc you may change one hit to a crit so if you are uh if you're chasing somebody and they're letting you chase them you get a little bit of benefit well, there free marksmanship that's right and then lastly we have veteran tail gunner you get to shoot out the front and the back assuming that you have targets in both spots the next big gun here in the list, we have General Grievous, who we just saw uh, throw three hits there, has an amazing ability, allowing you to reroll up to two attack dice when you have your opponent outmaneuvered, which he does oh, yeah. also have the outmaneuver um, upgrade card, which reduces the defense dice by one. Then we have Imperium Plating, spending two charges uh, in order to potentially get rid of some face up ship cards when they happen those critical damages those are absolutely game changing basically uh grievous twice can be immune to direct hits for instance so could, and, could possibly be a nine health mm -hmm. ship out there for only that five points that's right and one of the things boosting up that health is soulless one also you get that additional ability of while defending as long as you're not looking at your opponent you get to re-roll a defense dice as well very very well-rounded ship which is why it's so popular um, to finish out the list here, we got Dirge, the newest release out of all, out of all these, who we uh, know has elusive 
and the Xanadu Blood and the Proton Bomb, but the one, another one of the newest upgrades we have on this table is that Proton Cannon in the Bullseye. We have a four dice attack at range two to three. You have to spend two charges. It, is, it has two charges reoccurring, and um, when attacking, you change one of your focus or hit results to a crit. So uh, not only is a four dice attack, it has a mod into it as well, which is yeah. awesome. It's basically like getting a free force point mod uh, or a free calculate to change one of those focus uh, results to a crit. Mm -hmm. And then Dirge's ability is a resurrection ability, has the potential to come back. There is a chance that he doesn't if things don't work out, but you get to uh, yeah. get to go through the deck. We'll talk about that again. If it comes up, we'll break down his ability a little closer. And then finally, a Bombardment Drone, doing what Bombardment Drones do, Proximity Mines, Independent Calculations, and Landing Struts, which we saw the Bombardment Drone actually hang out on an asteroid last turn and now we have that fully broken down the bets are in james where did people put their points who do they have faith in this Ooh, round the time is out for this betting but um pretty even we have a 55 percent chance uh for player two so that's going to be jf with the fo and a uh 45 percent chance for uh pierre uh, with the uh, separatists here, so I, I think fairly, um, fairly close there. Uh, mm -hmm. I, w I wouldn't say one uh, one player has a huge advantage here. Uh, it looks like that bombardment drone did grab that bottom left objective for the scramble, the transmission or south, south sorry salvage mission uh, scenario. So uh, is currently holding on to those uh, that crate. All righty. So, yeah, salvage mission is our scenario. We'll see who ends up getting them. Watch out for those GSP helmet tokens. Yeah, um, looks like uh, Jean-Francois already has one on static at the top of the board. Yeah, very, very nice call. Uh, looks like a lot of these um, FO ships are just taking their focus action here. Uh, maybe they don't want to get proton cannon by Dirge. Uh, but if that Protan Cannon is lined up, you know what else is lined up? Dead to rights. Mm, no mods for you. Yeah, you cannot modify your green dice, your defense dice, using green tokens. So uh, the, only to the only thing that you could use would be charges or uh, a force point. So, which uh, we don't have any in this game so far, uh -uh. Uh, on, at least on the FO side of things. Uh, so I guess we do have Elusive. So uh, could potentially use Elusive if you're Is dead, that right? Bullseye lined up right now? I think so. He, hey, just, he just barrel roll focused, and I think he lined it up on to Scorch, it looks like. Scorch's not going to be happy about that. Especially Dirt, who does fire at Initiative 5. Could release him of that focus token that he's planning to use against Django. Yeah, I don't know if Gaelic has Arc on to Grievous. He may want to just barrel roll to not get outmaneuvered and Grievous uh, re-rolls. Maybe you just want to, like, I, I guess I'll take the range one. Mm -hmm. uh, I would take. I would rather take a range one not outmaneuvered and re-rolled against <laughs> versus a range one outmaneuvered. So uh, maybe a good call here. Uh, we may see Malaris, there's Malaris right here in red, move up and take a lock onto uh, the Grievous here. Looks like that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, could potentially uh, throw a cluster missile at Django, depending on what maneuver we see here. So Django just wow. keeping it simple, one very, forward. Very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes the best maneuver for these fire sprays is just like a lazily <laughs> listen like, to the fight. I was like, I'll be fine. Uh, yeah, well, he is facing down both uh, sc Scorch, Recoil, and DT798, and is going to get shot by potentially all, all Four, five. five of these ties. <laughs> Maybe even six if, uh, what is that? The blue one, Gaelic, has range. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. Could be getting shot by all six. You can only know Tori has two times. <laughs> it might be enough. <laughs> yeah. All right, we do see that stress go down onto 
uh, Malorus, so we will uh, have that ability. And it looks like Django correctly, <laughs> probably, mm -hmm. reinforced the front. Yep. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's maybe the right call. Don't, maybe you don't take that, all that damage. All right, let's see where Pierre is going to go. Um, looks like we're going to get a mark here to determine range. Uh, may want to concentrate fire on to Scorch here, who is most likely, uh, like we mentioned earlier, in that Proton Cannon arc from Dirge. It looks like it's a range two. It is range two. Ooh, so is it worth it? That worth is lucky. It? Uh, we'll see how many dice we roll here to see if we are going into Scorch. It may, it may, that may be the best choice. Mm -hmm. Even though he's got recoil right there, sitting juicy range one. Yeah. Just thinking about it, Pierre, warming those dice up. We're gonna be hit into hit, into scorch, hit it, crit. Okay, just out of hand. Uh, and yeah, you spend the focus. You only take two shields. That's why you bring the shield. One there. shield, one shield. Only one shield. Just it, one. That's the shield upgrade. There you go. Yep. <laughs> uh, scorch one shield upgrade. Spends focus uh, because you can't use it on the attack from uh, from dirge. So you might as well spend it now. Hopefully. Uh, is able to uh, live out this attack from Dirge. Dirge, you're right. Dirge could just pop him. Oh, yeah. There, there, that is an actual possibility. Oh, oh, not even an actual, uh, pro almost probable po possibility. All right, here we go. We got the FO starting to go into Django. Hit, crit, crit. I'm assuming we're using That's the tractor force. beam. That's tractor beam. Oh, no. Uh, I leave him there. Oh, that's tractor beam onto. On, on, on onto Grievous. Grievous. I leave him there. Don't move him <laughs> because he can outmaneuver you if you move him. <laughs> this is true. You'd also end up getting a shot on Scorch. Yeah, if you get to you, choose. You, get, you can rotate, yeah. Uh, oh, boy. We have a rage. Hit, hit, crit. One dice into Grievous. Looks like he's taking hit, crit. At least hit, crit. Could be hit, hit, crit if he doesn't spend that focus. You may just want to spend it. Um, yep. You don't want a bad pilot crit right now. You could throw it away. You could. You're right. Oh, he's choosing not to take it? No, he's going to hold on. He's leaning into the plating. Uh, it's, it's a choice. Uh, you bring the upgrade for a reason. Let's see if that reason is good. He just tosses it. He just tosses it. Nice. Weapons failure. No, Th thank you. There no, it is. Thank you. I want my weapons. He, uh, he leaned online. into the plating. <laughs> he leaned into the plating, and the plating leaned back. Said, I yeah, got you, bro. I got you, bro. <laughs> uh, all right. So that, that laser, it, that heavy laser cannon is lined up. Uh, looks to be range. Slaps it down. Proton <laughs> cannon slap. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Um, all right. Uh, here we see that four dice automatic focus conversion. Um, all right, hit to cr uh, focus to crit. Mm -hmm. Hit it, crit. Okay, we need some of these here. There you go. But still taking two. That's going to be hit crit. Ooh, shield crit. Yeah. Uh, doesn't have a loose over anything. Brought the shield upgrade instead. So let's see what the crit is going to be on Scorch. Looks like we got council Soul fire. Fire. Sometimes console fire is better than a direct hit. <laughs> okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, what is next? Here we set. Are we still in initiative five? No, we're in initiative four. Here we see Scorch take a stress. Take no console fire. No console. And, uh, oh, trail mix on the attack. No mods. One to one. Django Fed just dodging. He's like, come on me. Come on. All right. Here with DT takes a strain. Yep. To uh, add a extra die in the attack. Is he going to use Notorious to strain Scorch? To strain Scorch. That's a I good question. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe on DT. That way he doesn't sloop on He you. did it on DT. Yeah. And spends for three. Ooh, Django. So taking two at the very least. Takes two. Takes two force. Yes, there you go. So Savage Ooh. ends up getting used there. So only one. Okay. One on Django. Uh, oh, it was two. No, because of reinforced. Oh, reinforced. Forgot about it. Ooh. Hit it, crit. Ooh. Ooh. 
<laughs> Full string, let's go. Hit, All hit. Right. Crit, crit going that, into the simple man. That, that recoil uh, ability takes three of those. Those are going to be the rest of the shields. Yep. Shields are down. Remember, reinforce doing its thing. Man, reinforce saved him uh, two damage so far. Yep. Another strain down. Uh, range three looks like from static with that ion cannon. Uh, just one. One. It's the evade. That's all you need. Sometimes that is all you need. All right, here's Grievous. Range one into Gaelic. And hit, hit, crit, spend for four. Oh, boy. Uh, and triple blanks, elusive. elusive, you got one. Wow. Could have just saved him there. Hit, hit, crit going into that FO. What's going to be the crit? Drum roll. If it's a direct, it could end up uh, just t still being taken out there. It's like a structural damage? No, weapons, weapons failure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, man, FO tried to put a weapon silly on uh, Grievous. And, and I go, no, no, no. <laughs> the rever Uno reverse card. <laughs> <laughs> Uno reverse card on you. Uh, it's okay. Gaelic is not here for the firepower, so that weapon's failure, not too bad. Um, that's only really going to reduce his ability to tractor people. Okay, so it looks like we did see both of the Notorious come down, one on DT, one on uh, Recoil. And we'll get one point for each player at the end of this round, because we have only uh, one objective grab in each round, one by Static, one by... Those are beautiful. Uh, and one by the Bombardment Drone at the bottom. Uh, okay, so... The FO has decided to just hopefully avoid that F, uh, that bombardment drone mm -hmm. uh, because you don't want to get anywhere near it. The possibilities for you getting a pizza dropped on you is high. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You get you get the in the front or the back with that bombardment drone. Now, real quick, we're gonna pop up here in the bottom of your screen. We just got it added more to the pile. You doing? Okay, go for it, James. All right, so you see um, we have uh, Sab uh, not Sabine, um, Bo Katan. Bo -Katan. Katan. Yep. Yeah, has uh, some charges here from Bo Katan. Uh, very cool, uh, very um, detailed here. Like, it's uh, they're shield tokens, by the way. Shields, okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. We cannot go full camera because we got the, the game going. We'll show yeah. them off afterwards. These are awesome. Uh, more added to the pile, which means we've got more stuff to give away. <laughs> a a AMG hitting us with uh, <laughs> those, those uh, <laughs> all the prizes today. That's right. Oh, you, you said you wanted some stuff. We got, we got some stuff. I'll got give some you stuff. some stuff. <laughs> All right. How much stuff you want? You want all the stuff? <laughs> Tell me what you need. Tell I got me you. what you need. <laughs> Awesome. All right, I'm going to work on, on seeing if I can clean this up a little bit. I'm going to move the camera it's, it's off. Like yeah, for sure. Just a little more. Right there. There we go. That's better. <laughs> We're good now. All righty. Going into round tur turn number three here and the round number three. Get that road roll. These players are going in a, at a good clip. We're moving. Random Riggins says, nice shirt. That's right. I, dr I, I dress up for Worlds. Actually, I recently like upgraded my entire wardrobe. 
with all X-Wing. It's all it's all Star, Star Wars. Wars and Marvel, like, comfortable collared shirts. Collared shirts. So I can wear the, I wear them just everywhere. This is just yeah. what I look like now. Yeah. This is my look now. This is my look. <laughs> yep. Is this my new personality? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, no joke. Uh... That's fine. We all lived through it. Pre-COVID, I had bought a very similar wardrobe to this. Yeah. And then uh, COVID happened, and I gained a bajillion pounds, and I don't fit into any of it anymore. So then I never had the look that I was going for, and I just invested. <laughs> I recently invested. I was like, you know what? It's time. This is the look I wanted the entire and Now, I got it. Um, I'm looking I, fly. I feel, I feel you. I, um, coming out of the military and yep. deciding like hey i'm tired of being forced to work out i'm gonna take a break yeah uh let's take let's take a quick uh break here and let me let me live my own life how i want to live it uh and yeah kind of <laughs> gained a little weight <laughs> gained a little weight <laughs> so uh i really need to get back on the wagon uh and uh start working which guy should be back off to the military right Fix you no. up real quick. No. <laughs> oh, goodness. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't do it. Just call him up. Hey, we're sending James. <laughs> He's coming back. He's coming back. We're tired of him. <laughs> <laughs> you can have him. <laughs> we need his muscles back. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. I am okay. I had a great time. Learned a lot of life lessons. Um, and really appreciate my time. There you go. Uh, but no. No, you I'm, can't have him back. He's mine now. No, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, so we got Recoil turning here to the right. Uh, has General Grievous in its sights there. Jean-Francois taking the uh, first player token. So General Grievous is going to have an opportunity to move. We'll see how far away, though. That would have been a great, or a great time for us, for Recoil to be second player there because wouldn't have been able to have Grievous out of the way mm -hmm. and could have been boosting. Uh, but uh, it's just going to stay focused. Um, don't stress yourself because you still have the opportunity uh, to uh, do a white one hard next turn. All right, Grievous, keeping it simple, too straight. Those Belba Labs don't have a lot of options for stress relief, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right? Absolutely. I think it's just the one out, and two forward or something like that. No, or not the two one and three forward. forward? Yeah, two and three. Two, two, three, a two bank. So. Uh, not a lot, but generally a pretty great dial. If yeah. you're not stressed, great dial. Uh, unfortunately, the bubble heads love to stress because they have good such such good <laughs> good linked actions. That's right, linked <laughs> actions, please. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, they're not allowed to have good linked actions and good blues. Um, yeah, that's reserved for. Um, Interceptor class fighters. I saw some people asking if there was a way to know where players were from since this was Worlds. There's no official way on Roll Better to know. I will tell you that we have, uh, I believe, Jean Francois is out of Quebec in Canada, and Pierre Bouffier is out of uh, France. France. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, and let me see. You know, you know that. Um, Jean Francois is out. I'm of like 98 percent sure he's, well, he's he, from Quebec. You want to assert control of his name? Jean. Jean. Uh, out of the Escadrille SALT squadron? I'm pretty sure. I'm like 98% sure. Right. Now he's asking for what city he's from? Come Listen, on. I don't know about all that. I don't know about that. Oh, we just lost a ship. What was that? Was it a friendly bump? Okay, it must have been one damage somewhere. Yeah, so that was Gaelic. Gaelic. Gaelic just got taken off the table. Yeah. Sorry, Recoil said, you're in my way, buddy. I, I'm here to do damage, and you're in my wow, way. Wow. That's... I mean, I know, I know it's like only three points, but that's also three points. They just got given away. Okay, looks like it's going to be a bump from Dirge here. Uh, is only going to be able to take a focus action if he wants it. Uh, the um, uh, the dial for uh, this ship is also pretty, that for that road class ship is also pretty similar actually. Uh, one bank, two bank, uh, three, four, uh, or two, three, and but has that four straight blue as well. So uh, has some options for those maneuvers. All right. So Django has a crit token next to him. His proton bomb hit himself. Oh no! 
Uh, okay. Uh, we don't know. Looks like Django may have a range one. Here, hand me the iPad. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. put in that crit. Uh, looks to be a range one from Django here. This could be, could be a pretty large hit. It's going to get an automatic hit to crit conversion uh, due to the Slave 1 Separatist title there. We'll see, though. That could be a blinded pilot. Stunned pilot. Okay, less exciting. Less exciting. Uh, unfortunately, uh, or un <laughs> unfortunately, Pierre is probably a um, great player to be so uh, doing so, so great here at Worlds already. He is already 2-0, uh, so I doubt that he is going to let that fire spray hit a obstacle. But um, we'll see. We do still have the opportunity for some ion shenanigans with uh, the static coming in with that ion cannon. So could possibly see him get ionized and somewhere he doesn't want to be. All right, a range one uh, from... Has to be Django, right? Django, yeah. Into the back of recoil. Pop, pop. Ooh. Uh, two blanks. Recoil. Spend for one. Taking three. Recoil is uh, half of that health is going. Luckily, do, no half points in this scenario. Yeah. Ooh, jeez. Oh, and you know what? And Andrew in the in the chat actually very true. The J, uh, slave one trigger got missed there. Yeah, it is a May. Yeah, three I hits. Pierre going to be taking two. That's more two damage more. on the ball, but uh, Django Fett, the simple man, is down to three. Does Django come out of this one alive? That's the question. Good question. All right, here's some man. Pierre is warming up those dice. He wants some scalding hot when they enter the box. Two hits, calientito, and uh, that's gonna be one. One more on to recoil. Stacking them up. Okay, uh, Grievous took a focus. Didn't. Um, grab the objective. I would have thought that he might have grabbed the objective, but uh, only down to theoretically five hole at this point, I think. Here's Malaris and double blanks mm. into Django. Recoil now, going into Grievous, range two. Silencer has three attack dice, got trail mix, only one, no modifiers there. And Spinning will it focus. be squeaking through? Oh, uh, oh Grievous' soulless ability. One. Soulless one. Yeah, Soulless one. Yeah. I know, they're basically the same thing. Grievous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so we have, uh, this is be static with that ion cannon. Uh, probably takes a, I mean, honestly, could just primary into um, Django here. Oh, some easy mode lasers out here. Come on. <laughs> Use the template. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the ion cannon from uh, Static. Ooh, three hits. Oh. Oh, the ability, yes. He did a one hard. Yeah. Yep. Django ability. Uh, Static did a one hard, and Django did a two straight. <laughs> no, no, no. No three hits here. No, 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 no. We don't allow that here. And uh, that's going to be one damage squeaking through. All but right. no, no ionization getting stacked up there. Which yeah. I mean, with two does, health left, does, isn't huge, it but it could take, could affect your decision making. Yeah, Will and I talk about this all the time about yeah. um, if you have the opportunity to use the ion cannon. Yeah. A lot of the times, you're only going to do one damage anyway. Mm -hmm. So you might as well use the ion to guarantee one damage versus trying to go for more. A lot of the times. I think we just saw the council fire trigger on Scorch. Yes. So one more. Down to one. Does Scorch not shoot? I think Scorch did shoot. They just missed the console fire. It was a single die oh, okay. roll. There'd be nothing else. We'll continue here. Crit focus. That's from the bombardment drone. From downtown. 
Uh, and many dice, and only got a single squiggle. You have any green tokens out there? I think this, this is on the Malaris, who used her ability. Got it. Oh, actually, that was on the Scorch. Scorch. Okay, gotcha. Either way, Scorch spins the focus safe. Uh, really needs to repair that damage. <laughs> repair that crit. <laughs> Players asking, or some of the people asking about what are their records? 2-0. 2-0. Both of them are 2-0. Uh, going into this round. Oh, dead man switch. Oh, you right. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> About to slide into them DMs. Ooh, that dead, dead man, man switch. switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, that could be absolutely crazy. Um, could take out potentially... Um, Scorch could and uh, could splash off a lot of these extra shields that these uh, FO fighters have. It's like you can just be regular TIE fighters now. Yep. Is Pierre Futile, Futile on Roll Better? I think so, yes. Yes, he is. So we've elapsed about halfway through the game. Uh, we have Separatists ahead for anybody who's just joining us right now. Five points to two points. Django Fett sitting at two hole. That would be an eight point swing for Jean Francois. But of course, on his side, you also have Scorch at one hole, Recoil at two, and them together, if they both go out in the same turn, also worth eight points. If that happens on both sides, Pierre would still be up by three points. Wow. Um, yeah, big uh, lost uh, Gaelic pretty early to uh, a big shot from Grievous and then a self or a friendly bump. Uh, very unfortunate, but it happens sometimes. Um, mm -hmm. But man, it's gonna be, uh, do you just leave? with uh, recoil I mean do you hmm. recoil doesn't have a crate right who's got them right now the bombardment drones has been chilling with one, one and there's moment. one other one out there there has to be uh, up top. got it up top and that so there's it's one to one right now on the uh, on the objective tokens So it looks like a, a player who's maybe returning to the game, watching, hasn't been uh, here for a while, asking some questions in the chat about uh, about objectives, how they work. Uh, the question being, how do objectives work now? Is it possible to win a game without killing any enemy ships now? Technically, yes. It is very unlikely, though. Because if you're purposely not shooting, if you're avoiding engaging, it's going to be very difficult for you to get objective points. You have to be in the scrum in order to get objective points. So, especially that's, for that's salvage that you can't run away with the objective. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, man, some big choices here for Django. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you going to be, Django? <laughs> Thankfully for uh, JF here, um, a lot of his ships are initiative four. Uh, the only one that's not is uh, Malaris and Gaelic. Mm -hmm. uh, just Malaris left right now. But uh, well, he's going to have an opportunity to choose how he wants all these ships to maneuver and in which order. So he's going to have a lot of options to um, Choose where he wants to move and how he wants to move. So, could get recoil out of the way, needs to get DT out of the way, and so on. All right, DT to bank here. Sloop, oh, baby. Sloop. Sloop. What are you talking about? This bank. Sloop the do. Oh, my goodness. Gotta yeah, flip this around. Gotta take that Django off this board. Yeah. That's like a two bank from uh, recoil. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Those wings just like getting in this encapsulating. I came, I came to give you a hug. Uh, looks like it's going to be a focus roll here. 
Um, maybe wants to keep that arc a little wide um, to make sure he can get a shot on Grievous if he survives uh, from the Django shot. Mm -hmm. All right. I think uh, that Django ability usage earlier really, uh, really upset JF because it's like, I finally get three shots into Django. Finally going to do some damage. And then <laughs> gets, yeah. gets turned down. He's like, dang, I forgot about that. <laughs> and everyone does. Everyone forgets about the Django ability. All right, we see a two hard from uh, Scorch here on one health. Does he repair the uh, crit? It does look like it is repaired, maybe. What's the, what's the move here? One hard sitting right in front of recoil. Range one. Roll. I think predator. You, you have predator on you. Do you boost you get, you instead? Get, you got predator on you if you're an arc. Ah. He, he could roll. He could roll though. He could roll away. True, but then you would be in predator anyway. He's going for boost. The boost gives you a chance of maybe getting out of arc. I doubt it. Would you get to try? Gives you a better shot, for sure, on a DT-798. Uh, oh, it's on the Mallors. Yep, you're right. Yeah. All good. Uh, Mallors has used both of her charges. Uh, if I'm not She's mistaken. just a normal TIE fighter now. Just a normal TIE fighter. Uh, has cluster missiles still, uh, so can still be a danger, a threat, out to range two. Uh, gonna roll three dice at range two or th uh, one or two. All right, we'll see Django here. Probably just gonna be another simple one straight, right? I mean, like, why would you do anything yeah. different? Why would you do anything else? <gasps> we see the five K from uh, Dirge here. It so says flip the dip, like, baby. I, I kind of don't want to be in the middle of these Tie Fighters. Uh, let me just get it behind them. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like it does not have that bullseye lined up on anybody. And doesn't have any stressful uh, maneuvers um, or uh, ways to get actions after doing a stressful maneuver. So, uh, 5K, uh, pretty good spot. Looking straight at Mallers, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he tries to do a two straight with uh, Django. Uh, this, you know what this feels like, though. This is like, oh man, I bumped. I guess. Oh no, I guess oh, I'll no. I guess I'll shoot the crap out of whoever is in front of me at range one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then when I, if and when I blow up, I he's gonna do potentially three yeah. extra damage. I guess I still gotta be here at range one. <laughs> uh, man, do you? He's got th he's got three ships at range one, right? One, two, three, absolutely, yeah. And I think Dirge is just out of that range. Of course he is. Of course he is. <laughs> Perfectly executed. Perfectly, Perfectly planned. planned. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <oof. laughs> Pierre over here uh, picking his juicy targets. <laughs> He's like, let me see what those guys what's do. Up? What's on the menu? <laughs> what's on the menu today? It uh, looks like menu is going to be recoil with a side of recoil. Uh, he's still going into this one, trying to take him out at initiative six. Uh, spin the focus. Man, mm -hmm. has been rolling great with Django so far. Uh, one blank, one. There it is. Not, Got double squiggles. Not dead. Is going to take uh, one damage, though. Left on one hole. Uh, we could still see Dirge take out uh, Recoil, though. Two oh, hits, ooh, make it three. Ooh, that's going to be uh, Malaris into Dirge. Oh, Natties. my goodness, Dirge. Just one. <laughs> Just Easy. This is a one damage. It's like, okay, I'll take it. And here we go, going back into Dirge. No, this, this, oh, is, this is, uh, is Dirge into Recoil. Oh, he's heating up those dice. Got two. Not quite warm enough. Got to spin focus, though, unfortunately. Mm, forcing the um, expenditure of that token. That would have been dangerous if uh, he had him dead to rights. Oh, you're right. Uh, uh, thankfully for recoil, he did not get de dead to rights. Dead to rights. A 
That is the second missed trigger for uh, Slave One. Oh, that oh, focus would have been look. great. A kingdom for a focus. <laughs> just looking for one squiggle and got it. Oh, man. Uh, that could have been a great shot into Grievous. No crits in there that I saw. Uh, okay, looks to be a static uh, ion cannon. Hit, hit, crit. Definitely could be ionized here. Oh, oh my, my goodness. my goodness. Pierre says no. He's going to take one critical damage, no though. No damage for ion cannon. Oh, it's ion cannon. My yeah. bad. Yeah. Great. Uh, no, ioniz <laughs> no ionization. Yeah. Well, I, thankfully, that wasn't a crit because he could have just maybe thrown it away. All right. We'll see uh, DT798 here. Two focuses. Blanks. No focus results to spend. All right. I think that may... Oh, we had the Bombard Madrone. Still has it. It's got a reach. Uh, oh, Grievous. Grievous, no shot. All right, Bombard Madrone. Uh, range three on to recoil. It's trying to be the trying to be the hero. Man. Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, no, nope, spend one. one with a calculate. Oh, did it? No. Yep. No. James, no. That's it. No. Recoil is down. Uh, that's going to be oh another five gosh. points wow. for the Separatists. Uh, that's, that's, that round did not go how I thought it was going to go. I thought for sure. I thought we were going to have explosions on all sides. Yeah, I it's, thought for sure Grievous is going to go down or Jengu is going to go down. Instead, Pierre ends up ahead 10-2. to 10-2 to two and still um, has uh, the momentum of the game. Sometimes like you can be ahead in the game yeah. but not have the momentum. Yep. But he definitely has both in this case. <laughs> See a couple people in the chat talking about uh, <laughs> talking about um, uh, the objectives. We are still playing an objective game here. Uh, yep. but both players seem to have just like, meh, whatever. <laughs> well, it's they've they've both players have been very aggressive, and when you when you have that aggressive play from. Um, from each other and especially they both picked up one crate right mm -hmm. and at that point if you're being really offensive you're going for kills you really can't afford to spend your actions on also picking up any of the objectives now that might not necessarily be the case for dt798 next turn but i think is it still double stressed no it's strain it's it, both of those are straight stress and a strain stress strain yeah nah, so he's going to be going into the fight yeah, I think honestly, because they're both tied at it, it's it's essentially just a timer and nothing else, right? Going up yeah, from there. Yeah, it's like chance. Yeah, <laughs> they're playing. They're, they're playing, playing chance against the game with no half points. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Wouldn't that be interesting? Like, like, um, <laughs> like honorable salvage is that like we both agree <laughs> to pick up one. <laughs> And then play, you're playing, you're playing just chance engagement. From yeah, there. Ch chance engagement with no half points though. That's a little bit different. That that is a, that is a very different game. Much more swingy. <laughs> we got vis visual confirmation from the moderator extraordinaire Grimwolf. Grimwolf is here, hanging out at Adepticon and still <laughs> moderating the chat. This guy's a monster. In the best way possible. <laughs> Not yet. No. No adult beverages yet. <laughs> you know when we will be giving away some ships? When we talk about Gold Squadron Paint Wars later today... Um, at the end of round five, if you haven't checked out our Gold Squadron Paint Wars Season 2 voting, please do exclamation point Paint Wars or exclamation point PW to take a look at um, a Google form that has the pictures of everybody who submitted. We have 18 amazing, absolutely amazing paint jobs out there six different prompts and uh they just did a wonderful job super excited to uh, show off their work here at worlds 2023 and uh, like i said we're going to be giving away some uh okay, thank you very much, we're going to be giving away uh, at least one of these ships today Ooh, it's exciting mm -hmm. speaking of giveaways man 
we just they keep dropping more and more stuff off at the table from AMG. This is true. These tokens are amazing. Thank you to AMG for their support and their prizes that they've provided and, us. And their prize support. You. That's right. <laughs> So emotional and prize. Em emotional <laughs> support. Do you need anything, Dion? I just thank you so <laughs> much for asking. <laughs> uh, all right. So Grievous has the opportunity. There it is. Grievous takes that objective. Uh, is going to turn that that the heat on that timer up a little bit more. It says crank it up. Crank up that heat. He says, oh, you want to play games, do you? <laughs> so now with that claim, we see that Pierre now has two. Two salvages being carried around. So now we have a 2-1 advantage. He's pressing the advantage with oh his 11-3 lead. And we got a bit of an overlap here. Has the option to take a stress and a focus. Well, the, I'm saying, oh, boy. Because uh, that uh, bump into the bombardment drone uh, does not bode well for uh, poor static there. One hard. That Scorch, who's been walking around with one health for a while now. Yeah, did repair that console fire. Go ahead and get that off the screen there and a good point here uh, in the chat you can see that uh, with static sitting in front of uh that bombardment drone they're about to get bombarded oh yeah <laughs> all right where's the next one uh, well, do we see a one hard from? Uh, we see a one hard from Dirge, I think. Keeps the stress, gets in the way mostly. Um. All right, looks like we see Django trying to do a one bank here. Uh, we're going to do a lot of marking here because that's right. Uh, we have a lot of ships here. Need to get out of the way first. This might be a tight maneuver. Uh, could bump into static. Um, could maybe not even make it all the way over Malaris. All right, put the ship back, and then we'll do the uh, the rail railroad choo-choo. And it looks like it might fit in between. It might it might land. Oh boy, did it? No, that is not good. Redonkulous! Wow, that is uh, what we call in the business no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> If it fits, if it sits, it fits. Uh, yeah, and it fit. Uh, we're going to see an action, the I'd first real action from Django in quite a while. And we're also probably, we're, there's a good chance if uh, Static's in the front arc, we're going to get veteran Terrell Gunner. Yeah. Pop, pop. And then also a bomb next turn. That too. A proxy and a proton bomb. The entire uh, Twitch chat here willing Pierre to not forget Slave 1 again. Please. <laughs> Please. Let's see. They're checking the front. Did we get it? Might be worth a judge call. I there think, it they, is, I the think they just call. called it. <laughs> and there we go. It looks like D. Yoon got the call. D. Yoon. Uh, gotta be, uh, in my, opi my opinion, my favorite judge. He's your favorite judge? <laughs> my favorite judge. He's a nice guy. I love him. Has that nice judge ruler there. So 
Spidey says, does the proton bomb automatically go off if it overlaps? No. Uh, the proton bomb triggers at the end of activation. And then checks for to see who's in range one of everything. Uh, excuse me. What What is in range one of the proton bomb? And then that takes a critical damage. If you got shields, then it just bounces off the shields. Uh, the proximity mine will definitely... Um, that immediately explodes. Yeah. So two crits, single squiggle, spend for two. Had to do a lot of work there. Static, yeah. Gets the elusive into... Um, uh, and converts it. Here we go, Pierre warming up those attack dice. Attack number two. This is General Grievous. No, sorry, no, this is VTG, veteran tail gunner on Django. And that was a blank out. It's probably going to be on Malaris, I think. No, that was going to be on to Scorch. Takes out Scorch. Oh, hell, looky here. What do we have here? Who this? Who this? Oh, that's probably the same. This is the World Championship of X-Wing cards. Oh, those are for this year. That's for this year? Yeah. So, uh, one set for you. Mmm. One set for me. <laughs> I'm checking to see which Hera they gave us. <laughs> if it was the VCX. And one set for the... Okay, check this out. With those World Championships... So, I will tell you, I believe they gave us less cards than we have tokens. Okay. Is that yeah, right? Definitely, yeah. That looks like that. Yeah. So, I think maybe what I do is that... I I just give out the cards in those pack, prize packs, those World yeah. Prize Packs, until they're gone. Yeah. No guarantee. You're not guaranteed a card. You may get a card. You're saying there's a chance. You're saying there's a chance. Yep. We want, you want inebriated Dion? No. Dion didn't get to be a world championship commentator by, uh, by drinking on stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the place to do it. Here we go. Big range one attack. Two hits, two blanks. That's going to be an ionization onto Grievous unless he can solus one. Nope. nope. Double blanks. That's going to be a hit and an ion. Uh, well, uh, Static knows where this guy is going to be next mm -hmm. turn. Generally. Generally speaking. Correct. Here's the roll. Trail mix able to convert for two. That's from DT798. And the excuse me, the separate is oh. unable to roll any. He's down. Rates. Django's down. Django goes kaboom, and so does the people around him. Let's go ahead. Let's wait, they got a measure. We know we know where he was. That's a must, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a must. James making sure the dead man switch goes goes off.
right? We're going to get going here. We are entering our 60th minute of play. Remember, we're using a count up timer now in order to prevent shenanigans of people knowing how long is left in the game. We don't even know how much long is left in the game. When the judges call time, we will let you know. Um, we'll be able to find out how much time was in that round. I want to remind you that our stream is brought to you by so many different people. Shout out to Adepticon. I want to specifically uh, shout out Hank. He's the uh, he's the he's the Adepticon lead. He's the head honcho, and uh, he's just a good guy. Hard work, and he loves he loves making sure that Adepticon is just a great show for everybody. High quality person, good worker. I love working with him. It's good people. Also, of course, shout out to AMG. Providing plenty of prize support for our players and to our viewers. Thank you so much. All right. Sideline reporter James Ritter with the most up-to-date information. Yeah, so that's going to deal a damage to... Uh, we, we were able to talk to the judge and confirm that um, uh, we will ro uh, roll it back as much as we can. Uh, and uh, But um, basically, there's, there's some complications with, uh, like, broken the, game state. They, because but, they pulled the, the ship yeah. off the table. Yeah. Like, it was. it's obvious enough where there's no ships that were close to being range one. You know what I mean? Like, there was... There was no argument as to the fact that there were going to be four ships that took damage. So that way it was, it was fixable. I think what, what we learned there, even though it didn't happen, is there is a possibility that when a ship gets pulled, even if it's obvious that it would have taken a damage with a uh, dead man switch, a, a judge could just say the, the, the game state is broken. I have yeah. no way to confirm where it was. It doesn't trigger. Yep. That's a possibility. It yep. didn't happen here, but that's just something to be mindful. If you have Dead Man Switch, do not move the ships until yeah. after you've measured for that. Yeah, Pierre was talking. Is um, like, yeah, the first time that I've had uh, using this list, Django actually die. No, oh, there, <laughs> so, there you go. That would be why a, you wouldn't what remember a, the trigger. What a terrible problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> is that his uh, his eight point eight point eight point ship doesn't die very often. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, and so after that, we are going to get two more points. That's uh, 19 to, thir to to 12? To 12, to 11. Or, yeah. He's got one, no? I thought there was a player token on it. No, his ship is dead. Yeah, static got removed. Yeah, there's three three objective tokens out there and two player tokens. Gotcha. Yeah, I see that third one, yeah. 19 to 11, Pierre has almost has this locked. Our third round of the World Championships of X-Wing. Very exciting round. Now this last week, James, we made some bold predictions on the podcast. Um, I think later on we should pull up uh, Pull up that document and see how <laughs> see how those bold predictions are, are looking after five rounds of play. Yeah, it looks like right now uh, the bombardment drone and Grievous currently are holding on to those crates, those mm -hmm. caches. Uh, Stormy Rage, we we do giveaways between rounds. We just don't we don't want to accidentally miss anything in the action. Absolutely. But yes, yes, we got stuff. James is literally sitting on our dragon's horde. Right in front of it. Hey, stop looking at me. This is, <laughs> this is mine. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> and here we go. There's right. roll off. Looks like it'd be Pierre, first player. Uh, holding on to it for now. Uh, we do have anywhere between eight and uh, 13 minutes remaining. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think this is probably going to be the last round. Yeah, as long as Pierre doesn't lose 
both of his crate carriers and they don't end up dropping them because they end up being critically damaged, it should be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything right now that would uh, uh, cause that to happen. Uh, we see the ionization maneuver there from Grievous. Uh, probably just put down the focus and uh, go from there. Now we have nearly 600 people watching from around the world on this Friday afternoon watching the X-Wing World Championships. This feels good, James. Feels great. This feels good. I really am feeling confident. I'm feeling the um, the passion for the game again, the interest. People are, are excited to see World Championship level X-Wing um, back on display, back on the big screen. Yeah, big screen indeed. Uh, we do have a uh, big, nice TV set up as well, right off, uh, right outside the stream table. Uh, so if you are down here uh, at Adepticon at the World's Event and you're currently not playing, uh, come up and uh, take a watch at their big TV. That, that's right. You know, one of my favorite memories from last Adepticon, where we, where, where we ran the very first, where Gold Squadron <laughs> helped AMG run the very first ever 2.5 tournament. Um, we had the TV up and we got to see this crowd of people just going going around and just the hype about the final game. We would see that every world championship, just this group of people passionate about the game, standing around wanting to see how things worked out. This is this is that same idea. It's amazing. That same feeling, yeah. All right, looks like a Dirge went out there and uh, grabbed that top objective uh, to all but confirm the game here. Three hits. We could see Grievous go down if we don't get any paint here on these four dice. He's got focus. He's got his soulless one ability. Nope. E Z. All right. We will have the bombardment drone take a range one shot into uh, the. Uh, I think this is DT. No yep. damage. Single hit. Nothing there. Okay. And, and there's the handshake. the handshake. There it is. Congratulations to Pierre Bouffier for winning here. 22 to 12, our third round of the X-Wing World Championships. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, Row 6, 626, Chief, and Jay List, our Grand Admiral patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron out.